Hey guys, long time no talk. Badoop. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Arielle and welcome to my channel. For those of you who do, hi, I'm back. I, uh, Christmas got really busy with work and then I got sick and it was just a whole mess. So, uh, let's talk about what I read in December. The first thing I read in December was Hogfather by Terry Pratchett. I adored this. This was my first Discworld novel per se. Uh, I did read something called The World of Pooh, which I guess is a children's book within the Discworld, but I don't think that counts. But anyway, this was amazing. If you haven't read any of the Discworld books and you like holiday stuff, this is a good place to start in my opinion. I do have a book review out for this already and I gave this five stars. The second book I read was The Fat Man, A Tale of North Pole Noir by Ken Harmon. This is one of my favorite books to read around the holidays. It is a Christmas North Pole murder mystery. Our main character is Gumdrop Cole. He is one of the founders of the Cole Brigade and he ends up getting sacked because he's too mean or whatever. Um, he goes and drinks a lot of cheer. He makes a mistake with a mortal and eventually someone gets murdered and there's like a whole a whole thing it's very hard to explain in just two seconds but i do give this book five stars every time i read it it is i literally read it every christmas and i am still deciding on whether i want to do a book review on it because i was going to in december but i never got a chance so if this is something you want to see a book review on let me know the third book I read was Written in the Stars by Alexandria Belfleur. This was a reread. This was actually the third time I had read this in 2021. And obviously it's a five star read. I already have a book review out for this, so go check that out. This is a sort of fake romance, turn romance, drama thing. And it's, it's awesome. I love this book. I live for this book. <laughs> and I want to thank my friend Lawrence for buying me this physical copy for my birthday. Thank you, Lawrence. And the final book I read in December was It's a Wonderful Life, Illustrated Edition. I got this from my mama for Christmas in 2020. And honestly, I really liked it for what it was. I feel like a, a kid or a, maybe a teenager had not seen the movie and reading this for the first time would have gotten something out of it and would have really liked it. But for me, I was kind of let down because there were certain things that weren't explained well. It is an illustrated edition and I understand but I do prefer the movie. I watch the movie every year on Christmas Eve. I do a lot of things every year at Christmas. I'm just realizing that. Um, but it was cute. I gave it three stars, I believe, and it is something that I would recommend if you like illustrated things or if you have kids that you want to introduce this to but don't want them to watch the movie just yet. So that is everything I read in December of 2021. And that is a wrap on 2021. So now it's 2022. I have some reading goals that are set on Goodreads. I normally set it at about 50 books a year, but I always read over that. Sometimes it's just a little, sometimes it's a lot. It just depends. Uh, right now I'm currently reading The Sword of Summer and I do not remember the author's name, but I will put up a picture here, obviously. And it's really, really good so far. I'm almost done. So I will hopefully have a book review for that soon. And I really hope you guys had a really great 2021 and are going to have an even better 2022. Bye.